Someone has uh, capped the rainfall because you know what? Mm -hmm. It's hardly anywhere to be found. Yeah, I mean, today, yesterday, excellent days, Neil. Well, we told you it was going to be excellent. Ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? It was. And what if I told you for most of tomorrow, you didn't have to worry about the storms? I believe you. Oh, I'm sure you do because, well, that's going to be the truth tomorrow. Ooh. And as we look at our high temperatures so far really? for the month of May, yeah, four days below normal, Neil, shaded there in the green, and then all the other days above those normal high temperatures. So it's been a relatively warm month, but we've mixed in a fair amount of 70s. Look at that, 370 degree days or temperatures below 80 there on the 1st, 10th, and 17th of May. Today, we hit 86 at Tyler. No rain right now in downtown Tyler. Of course, this is atop the Plaza Tower. Thanks to Tyler Neurosurgical and Associates there. Not a lot going on there in the distance. Temperatures in the 70s across the board. We're still a little warm at the DFW Airport at 80 degrees, but dew points, they're beginning to rise. I have seen this trend over the last couple of hours. Dew points are now in the middle to upper 60s, but some lower 70s are starting to come into frame there in deep east Texas. And as we look at tonight's forecast, we're down to 66, a few passing clouds around. High temperatures tomorrow afternoon will be in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Okay, here's the setup. While I don't expect rain tomorrow morning, I don't expect rain tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night could be a little bit of a different story, and it's all thanks to this cold front, which will be slowly sliding in our direction throughout the night tonight and throughout most of the day tomorrow. Here's Futurecast, 10 o'clock in the morning. All we're seeing is a few clouds, so keep those outdoor plans if you have them tomorrow morning or even if you have them tomorrow afternoon, because 4 o'clock, Rain nowhere to be seen. We might start to see a few cumulus clouds popping up. We'll have to watch these individually just to see if they can produce any rainfall. But as of right now, looks like we're going to have a pretty good cap in place, so that looks unlikely at this time. Three even six o'clock. Not a lot going on here in East Texas. So any ceremony or any baseball game that occurs before seven, eight o'clock tomorrow night, I think we're going to be good. As we head into about nine, ten o'clock, that's when we could start to see more showers and thunderstorms forming from I-20 pointing off to the north. Front's going to slide off to the south and to the southeast. That will end our rain chances Saturday morning but we will be left with the clouds through Saturday afternoon with mostly cloudy skies in your forecast. As I mentioned before, some of these storms could be on the strong side given the amount of instability that we have in the atmosphere. The northwestern two thirds of our viewing area here in East Texas under a level two slight risk of severe weather. And then in the green here, Lufkin, Nacogdoches and Center, we do have a level one marginal risk of severe weather. And that timeline, as I mentioned before, storms will be in our northwestern counties. At least the best chance of seeing those storms will be between about seven and midnight. And then it's between nine o'clock in the evening and three o'clock in the morning for parts of deep East Texas. Here's the graduation forecast because in addition to a lot of the baseball games that we have going on tomorrow, we also have local high school graduations and here's the forecast for it. As I mentioned before, before about seven, eight o'clock, I think we're going to be okay. I'm a little more concerned about storms after that seven to eight o'clock time frame. So take note with that if you're going to be at a graduation ceremony that happens to be outdoors. Over the next seven days, we really don't have to be concerned about rain Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. Look at that high temperatures in the 80s. Next chance of rain will be next Wednesday with a few isolated showers. Upper 80s there Wednesday, Thursday as that more typical May like pattern returns. And then as we look at deep east Texas, temperatures in the lower 90s tomorrow before the rain arrives. 82 Saturday with some morning showers. 81 Sunday. Neil. Huge not a